Should I put yeah. the mic closer? That's good. All right. How's it going, everyone? All Hope right. You're having right. a good day. Listen to people pitch their businesses. So um, the business I'm working on is I want people to own their own data. No, none of you like when Google and Facebook takes your data without your permission, right? Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Like you just wake up one day, you're scrolling social media, you're like, I was just talking about this vacuum cleaner. How did it come on my feet? It's kind of weird and kind of invasive. So what I'm doing is I'm building up a platform in which you can own, manage, and distribute your own data. Now, first thing you might be thinking is, so you want me to sell my data? Yes, I want you to sell your data because other people are selling your data. So you should be the one making money off of your own data. Makes sense to me, right? Yeah, so um, pretty much the way we're doing that is we're building a platform in which people can own, manage, and distribute their, uh, their own data. And also, uh, because we are dealing with the coal star problem, we're adding a marketplace in which you can use your data to help AI models with um, knowledge gaps. So whenever an AI model comes out, there is usually a few, oh, there's usually a few knowledge gaps in the model. So if you have a network of people who are willing to solve those problems and help the AI uh, with real reinforcement learning with human feedback as, as a service, it will be super valuable to all of those companies. So that's an alternative revenue model as well. Yep. And that's it. So how much money, how many customers are you looking for investment? Yeah, so things that uh, can be helpful for me today is I'm looking for a co-founder who is an expert in Solidity. Uh, I'm a programmer as well, but like that Solidity stuff is scary. <laughs> like you just lose $50 million, just like, just, just like that. It's kind of crazy. Um, so I would love a co-founder who is an expert in smart contract building and who has built um, successful exits before. Okay, questions. Two questions. What type of data do you have in mind when you say about sharing? Yeah, so um, I really want to focus on primitive data, such as text, videos, images, um, what else, audio files. So I want to have those primitive data on their own different verticals in which, uh, let's say, a model is a multimodal model, like, and it needs probably to fine tune itself on audio data, then we have like uh, a community of people willing to provide the audio data to help it fine tune and get better. But you're selling this to me, right? So in that case, I may not think video, I may not think, think text, I may think financial data, I may think uh, shopping list. What type of data do you want to manage? We want to manage all of the data, all of it, and then we'll figure out ways in order to um, organize it for different use cases. Hmm. You are falling in the typical way to fail. Is when you are a small company, you need to focus in what you can do. If you want to touch so many data, so many formats, so many things, that implies for you a lot of investment and a lot of time. Focus into one specific area. Where, where are you know? What is your best uh, uh, skill? What are the best projects you have built in your life? Doing for financial, doing for the medical devices, doing, for what kind of purpose are you being involved with? Okay, yeah, so I, I understand what you're saying. You're saying um, perhaps um, focusing too broad? Is that what you're saying? Too much. Too, too broad? Much. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, I kind of disagree with you because I'm building a platform in which a lot of people can use the platform for various use cases. Um, so a different aspect of the platform is also its ability for the users to collaborate um, with each other. And in doing so, they, they can build out new avenues in which uh, we can dynamically like, create solutions for different data on the same platform. Uh, just to make sure, you are building something on blockchain. Am I missing something? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Did you check storage? S-T-O-R-G. Storage. Did you check it? 
Okay, so it was one of the first startup that appeared about 2016. I remember I was investing in that startup, and I would say you the following stores building their own blockchain, their own blockchain is a proof of, proof of stake. You know why? Because uh, if you want to use for your storage, for example, Ethereum, you will pay for about 0 0.2 cents for every 10 kilobytes of information. You're going to be ruining about maybe like a 10 minutes. You understand what I'm saying? That's why we still don't have any solution on the blockchain, decentralized one. All the other solutions we get in blockchain in completely not having any relations to blockchain. It's just a server and you got a token to pay for that data. That's it. So you got to be very, very ingenious to propose something new because during this I have eight years, I am in blockchain. No one was able to do that. Although I have seen maybe, okay, maybe at least 50 projects of that. You're going to be 51. You understand what I'm saying, right? So maybe you have to at least have different variations of that. Okay, I was going to mention, just to add on to what Jorge uh, said. You guys, when you start a platform, yes, a lot of people could use it. But you are, if you go to an investor and say, I need a million dollars, I got dozens of markets. You know what they're gonna say? Bye-bye. Because you have a limited amount of money in all these markets. So if you do this advertising, it's too little, too little, too little, too little in every single market. So a much better way is to find in all of those markets, somebody who's got a problem that is absolutely horrifying, expensive, costly, and avoid everybody else and go to the one who's bleeding. Go to them and say, I have a bandage. You're bleeding bad. Oh, so the question was like, what, what, what am I focusing on initially? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, content creators. That's, that's, that's it. Is that still too broad? No, but okay. that, you need to be, see, very specific you, you at the beginning. You've been beat up twice to get to this answer. And you won't, you gotta jump to the front with that. Okay. You gotta be really clear, guys, a lot of investors, okay, the market for investors right now is down, it's bad. People lost money. So there's way more people looking for money than there is money. They got lots of choices. So this is how investors are listening, going, oh good, does it make sense? I don't get it, I'm confused, bye because they have 10,000 other choices. So be clear in the beginning. This is for content creators. After we nail this, we'll go on to the another category, but it's this one. Be really clear because this is a big deal for investors who have experience. They will say this all the time. You got too many. If you could narrow this and show us traction, we'd give you money, but that's what you gotta do. Yeah. Make sense? Thank you. Now, I, let sure. me just say, sure. you're welcome, but I wanna tell you, I, I'm the guy that's the head of sales. So this is, comes up over and over and over with every single company. Focus. Okay. Okay, you got fortunate. You got double time because you are in a blockchain. So <laughs> uh, now we want it. <laughs> Guys, if he got it, he got all the universe because no one ever was able to solve that problem. Okay. Anyone try to risk his heart, uh, heart not burn money? To that project? Okay, 2,000, 4,000. Excellent. I understand why you're giving 2,000, right? <laughs> 4,000, 1, 4,000, 2, 5,000. Exactly. 9,000, 10,000. Uh -huh. I can sell. 10,000 dollar market 